Hi there, welcome to today's video and today I've got a question here from Jimmy. And Jimmy's asking the following, this weekend I'm running a 30 mile race in the mountains of Vermont. Jimmy, that sounds like an awesome part of the world to be doing a race. All the best, I hope it turns out superbly for you. And Jimmy's question is that the race should be taking him around 14 hours or so. And his question is, what does he bring for food if he has to carry everything himself or simply do without? Jimmy, especially if you're looking at a 14 hour race, I know everybody out there is going to be shouting salt capsules, they're going to be shouting gels, they're going to be shouting sports bars, they're going to be talking about energy drinks to mix into your water, everything like that. Yes, those things are important. Um, your bars and then also your gels, especially into the latter half of the race when you are getting really, really fatigued and you're needing something that is super fast digested. You need, especially when it comes to the gels, you're looking at sugars that are digested quickly, absorbed quickly, and just give you that little bit of a lift, especially over the fight, your final, say, uh, two, maybe three hours or so. But stacked into the early half of the race, carry as much real food with you as you possibly can. And by real food, I'm talking jacket potatoes, I'm talking dates, I'm talking bananas. Anything that is involves real food that you chew and swallow, get as much of that in in the first half. So if your race is about 30 miles or so, stack all of the real food that you can into the first half and then as you move into the second half mix up real food with your um, energy bars and energy gels uh, to a certain extent but real food into the first half because if you just go gels from the word go take it from me somebody that's been there is by the time you've gone 10 hours on gels it's going to feel like you can't look another gel in the face at all. And you, it feels like you won't be able to stomach another gel. And if you get into that phase, then it's very likely that you'll be cutting back on your nutrition during the final part of the race when you need all of those, really, really need those gel pick-me-ups to carry you through to the finish line. So stack real food into the beginning and then mix up real food with gels, real food with energy bars during the latter part of the race. That way you'll be mixing up also the types of things that you're eating, keeping things interesting, and by keeping things interesting you'll be more inclined to be taking in enough calories to be able to get you through your 14 hours. That's what I do when I'm out on long solo unsupported runs in the mountains here of southern Spain is real food and I make sure that I've got enough real food to carry me for as far into the run as I possibly can and I obviously I pack a, uh, say four maybe five gels with me so that if the run goes longer than what I expect then I've got those gels left over as a little bit of a pick me up just to help me get, get me home at the end. So that's my take on the matter. Share this out amongst all your running friends. Don't forget, thumbs up if you like the content, thumbs down if not. That way you help me to put out better content in the future. Also, post any comments, questions, and criticisms that you have in the space down below this video. That way you help me to produce better content for you in the future. And last but by no means least, if you're watching this in YouTube, down the bottom of the screen and also just down below the, the, the videos, the viewer screen is a big red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button that you really stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out on a day to day, week to week basis. Stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you next time. Cheers.